upgrade. Oh, fuck me. Okay. I don't have any deflect, dude. I need it after this. Or if I can. I don't know if I can change my shit, though. I need to get, like, an Athena one. Get some deflect up in this bitch. Come this way, ho. Bitch! Oh, I didn't mean to do that, but okay. Oh, dude, it's such a good show. I think it's good for kids. Like, kids might not understand it all if they're really, really young, but I feel like it's one of those shows that you might not understand as a kid, but you'll still love it, and then you'll watch it again as an adult out of nostalgia, and you'll see a lot more. Like, that's how Totoro and all those movies are for me. Because I had him as a kid, I see so much more now as an adult. You'll cry as an adult. Oh, yeah. I mean, I don't know if I wouldn't cry as a kid. That's some shit. If you, like, understand, especially if you're with your parents, like, understanding what's actually going on. It's pretty... I mean, there's some heart-wrenching parts. Come over here. Come to my blades. Come over here. Let's play a game. Oh, okay. Or you could just hit me in the face like a douchebag. He hit me again, mom. Dude, I don't notice them that much slower. Actually, I kind of like them slower because they hover longer. I don't know. The, uh, this. Aw, oh, fuck. Pussy. Oh, oh. I guess I win this Oh, one. did you watch it when you were younger? See, I didn't. I just assumed. I guess there is a lot of, like, Aang is a pretty funny character. Olympus, I accept this message. Thanks. Um... Yeah. Hells to the yeah! Me neither, Uki. And, like, later on in life, I read all these theories that, like, Totoro's the god of death. And I didn't really understand how sick their mom was in the movie. But I remember when I was a kid, I thought they were overreacting. Like, I remember watching it as a kid thinking like, oh, these kids, like, they've never experienced anything. Like, the fuck? Pussies. <laughs> but as an adult, I was like, oh, fuck. Like, yeah. I enjoy them in a different way as an adult. As a kid, it was all about the music and the familiarity and the magic and shit. But as an adult, it's like that story is heart wrenching. Second grade, damn, dude. I wish I would have seen it sooner. But I guess I just didn't run in those circles to even know it existed, which is kind of sad. Bitch. Aw, oh, fuck me. Oh my god, BJ, thank you for 25 months in a row! Oh, oh, what up, dude? Thank you! Bitch. Thank you. Aang's son was Aang, yeah. I didn't really understand it, honestly, um, with no spoilers, because I know Korra just came out on uh, Netflix, which you guys should watch Legend of Korra. Um, no spoilers, by the way. Uh... I was really excited. I mean, I don't know if this is a spoiler, actually. And if I won't say it, I don't know. I don't want to spoil it. Core is fantastic. Yeah. I almost liked it better because it was just a little bit more adult. Cora was really good. Um, Just the fact that they had more airbenders. And that was like the coolest thing to me. I was so excited to see little baby airbenders. Like, that was so dope to me because in the first one, like, it was just Aang, and I was like really thinking they were gonna be no more. I don't know. That was pretty cool. I loved it. That was, that's not really a spoiler because it's pretty much the beginning. But the graphic novels are more open minded. For, uh, Avatar? 
avatar? How so? Tell me what you mean, boo boo. Bitch, no. Not stay ho. It's rearming. There's one rearming. No, it's not. Suck my anus holes. All four. That's right, I've got four buttholes! Fight me! I'm a conehead. It's been a secret all along. Now it's out. Secret's out. <laughs> uh oh. Ah! I need some Athena, man. I'm struggling. No, not today. Nice try. Die a lonely death, motherfucker. Oh, I'm sorry. Take that was rude. Me there. Yeah, you did take a bite out of me. Fuck tar. Fuck tits. I almost said fucked hard. I'm sorry. I don't like the word retard. I tried to avoid it in my life. <gasps> Lady Bones, what up, bitch? How you doing? Dude, I have like over 70 hours in the game though. Like, it's not, I'm not just like good at it. It's many, many hours of failure got me here. <laughs> I'm dedicated, if anything. Die, please. Thank you. Oh, boo! That's like the worst time for your power to go out. Hey, I'm gonna learn a new game. Oh, guess I'm not gonna learn a new game. Dude, Eliza, how far did you get in um, Crusader Kings today, by the way? Like, do you feel like you understand it more? It's the same fuck story. Oh God, this is alarming. come back what oh it did did i miss it it's fine they're weaker bitch second nerd come back here you little resurrecting fuckhead that's right you're easy to murder oh sorry Oh, nice. Elect candidates for titles. That's something. I didn't know how to do that, so I'll be asking you how to do that. Olympus I didn't know how to do that either. Message. Dude, BJ, you'll have to go watch. He, he streamed the whole thing of him putting it together. It's, uh, it's something. I think he's streaming on it right now. Um, hell yeah. Because it's faded. Got to do them faded motherfuckers. Is best played mostly pause. Wow, okay. That doesn't seem fun. Is that fun? Do you like it? If you like it, I ain't shaming. To me, that seems lame, but that's just me. I'm lame. Where's the other hoe? Where you at, hoe? You over here hiding like a hoe? Yeah, you are. Bitch, now you a dead hoe. <gasps> Fuck, see, I have nothing. God damn it. Oh, Maybe I should hurt. let myself die and start over because I don't really know what my build is. I don't know, we'll see. I might die, I'll just be reckless for a bit. Not a chance. Oh, okay, reckless Probably. was it apparently. Random thought. As a woman with a larger bust, I hate, wear I hate bra shopping. Everything in my size He's like, sub bitch, here's his beige napkins. You want cute lace? Uki, I have a website for you. Bra Stop. It's a European based um, site, but they have every fucking size known to man. By the way, it's not just big titties. All bras suck and they suck. 
they all look hideous to me. I hate them. They're so uncomfortable. But bra stop. I'm not shitting you. It'll teach you how to measure yourself to get the European sizes. Like, I'm a, normally like a 32 double D or like a 34 D-ish, depending on what bra it is. But on there, like I'm a 34 like double F or something because the sizes are different. But it's really decent prices. The bra. Oh, what? A beige napkin. Uh, I do porn or 15 year old girl like that is the three stages of bras in the world and I just don't know what the fuck happened I think like Victoria's Secret took over or something but on bra stop they have like a million different styles of like pretty ones are sexy but still totally supportive it's not like you're gonna have that double tit thing I love the balcony bras balcony is like uh, they're straight across like this but you get like a really good cup thing going on balconies are my favorite Oh, hell yeah, Eliza, that's nice. I mostly wear sports bras these days, but the bras I have that are real bras, they all come from bra stop. It's great. Yeah, balconette, is that what they're called? Not balcony, excuse me, balconette. Those are my favorite. I have the type of boobs, and I don't know what this is, but if I have like a V-cut bra, my boobs fall out in the middle. <laughs> Thank you for that follow, darling. My bra, my boobs like fall out in the middle. I don't know what the fuck that is. Like, I need to have that thing. And that's the, I mean, I could go get one of them. I don't know. Maybe tomorrow. Remind me tomorrow if you're around and I'll go grab one of them. Yeah, it's so annoying. And all of these bras, like literally, it the underwire actually comes up to a point between your boobs where you could like, it actually separates your boobs. Like it makes you have two boobs. It's amazing. Check out the Reddit though. The Reddit is really nice. Very, very informative. The girls on there are really cool and they help you. It's pretty magical. I mean, once I found that website, like I never went bra shopping in a store again because I feel like like um, Victoria's Secret and shit is such a scam. No offense to Victoria's Secret, but kind of. Mm. Yeah, big lightning. Oh, God damn, I strike fast. That is sexy. Oh my god, Karen, what up? Or do we see sex? No, let's see Karen. You're very welcome. You won't have uniboob. You won't have like that dumping out in the front. I mean, you just gotta like read the re read the Reddit and stuff and girls like post pictures. I know it sounds so perverted when I say that, but it like pictures so you can like look at their boobs What's in the mean? bras and be like, hey, I have boobs like that. Mine will probably spill out in the front. I don't want to get that kind of bra. It's like really cool community of girls like just trying to find literally a bra that fucking fits for once in our lives, you know? Why not? Like actually fucking fits. Ah, so then the boatman Charon came through for us after all, did he? Ook, are you fucking kidding me? Oh, fuck boy. Victoria's Secret. Ha <laughs> ha! That just struck that off my list for the rest of my life. Thank you. I appreciate that. That's disgusting. That's foul. Their loss, in my opinion. After you jazz, da, after you jazz, after you jazz, just before getting hit, a bolt strikes a nearby foe. Well, it was really strange. fun, Rod. That game is fun. I like it. I had a good time. Who's this gonna? Oh, this is gonna be both guys. Kimo, you know, they kind of sound like they're the you lingerie the version the of God's like monster. Hollister and Abercrombie and Fitch. I had friends that worked at those places and they had to maintain like a look. Like you had to be a little bit tan and you couldn't have any tattoos. You could wear zero makeup. And if you wore any, it could not look like you were wearing any makeup at all. Like no mascara, no nothing. Uh, you had to wear all their clothes, period, end of story. You couldn't wear anything from anywhere else. Like you had to have a certain body shape. Like they'd measure you. Like it was just to be a sales clerk. Not to be a model, to be a sales clerk. Like to get minimum wage to walk around the store in that heavy perfume. It's just weird. I would never want to work somewhere like that, but. People don't like my tattoos, who knows? Oh, fuck me, sorry. I thought there'd be more conversation. Cheers real quick. <laughs> I might die. That's what I'm saying, Kaimo, they're lost. The fact that you wouldn't accept someone based on their... And I mean, I just can't even go there. 
their gender preference. It's like judging someone for having a weird name. Like, what? <coughs> Me. Man, this is gonna suck without any, uh, reflect. Thank you, my fellow shades! You truly think you shall withstand our uh -oh. unsurpassable bull I think I might technique? just kill myself and start over, because I don't know what I'm doing anymore. I'm just getting reckless now. Fuck it all, hoes. Fuck all y'all, hoes. No holding back. Fight on. Oh, he just went through the Minotaur, dude. Uh oh. There it goes. Not yet. No mercy. To Didn't the monsters. CEO of like Lululemon do the same thing or whatever that brand is, Lululemon? I think Try that guy, like, like, girls were complaining about how the leggings were kind of see-through, and he was like, "Well, if you wore your actual size, they wouldn't be see-through." Yeah. I've actually been having, so I'm one of those people that's like, I'm paralyzed by options and choice. And I've had a really fun time putting the challenge to myself to find um, black owned businesses to buy things from. Like buy clothing or whatever, anything really. It's been kind of a cool like challenging myself as opposed to just like Googling like sweaters, you know? Like, I feel like there's so much clothes out nowadays and so many options that it's like, you just don't know where to go without a fucking Instagram ad telling you to do it, you know? Uh-oh. Absolutely. Kind of did that a little bit on purpose. With all those unrealistic jobs, dude, I mean, people strive to get jobs there. I knew friends that like that was like a social standing. Like if you could get a job there, it was like really impressive. You cannot keep falling asleep on the job like this, Hypnos. This is completely unacceptable. Oh. Oh, I just nodded off a little while, Thanatos. I rest easy knowing that you're here. But if I goofed, why? I guess you could kill me dead or something, huh? The, it's the smell. I can't even... I don't know if they can do it anymore because so many people complain, but the smell back in the day drove me nuts. I couldn't even don't walk by the store. And I love perfume. Pull like, I can walk through the Macy's department the during and Christmas you've got and I don't get a do. headache, but if I walk past Hollister or Abercrombie or any of those stores, I would fucking get sick. Oof. That is not a pleasant smell I care to Useless. ever smell again in my life. Oh, yeah, it was like 20 feet out the store. Exactly. You'd have to make like a. I remember at my mall, particularly, my mall was basically like this long shape with the court in the middle. And you'd have to do like a loop around it, kind of, to avoid the oh, stench. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> no? I thought I. Oh, I did. Oh. Oh, I have to reunite those cunts? God damn it. I thought I did a prophecy. I was wrong. Oops. Let's turn in our fishes. Dude, they smelled exactly the Here's same to me, I'm going to be honest. What's that? Stress up. retail's horrible no matter when, where, and how, I think, in my opinion. I think retail's going to be terrible forever, and it's always... Because it brings out money. Anytime you deal with money, like, is Mel here? Mel could tell you. Snore. Uh, anytime you deal with people and money, they it brings out the ugliest part of them. Didn't I have a fish? Did I already Something turn it smells in? Good. I must have already turned it in. Shopping purse. Boss is Is that what he said? So 20 gems is two keys. But you could trade two keys for 20 gems if you want. What up, Silverheart? How you doing? Darling, Kayleen is your little brother. Do you? Oh, it's daring. I called him darling. I was going to ask you if you called him darling. I was like, what a name. Fuck me. What up, brother? Your bro and I are online friends because of the pandemic bullshit, but we're kind of neighbors. What's up? I don't go to malls. They are dirty cesspools of nasty. 
Dude, you worked at Lush during the Christmas season? Fuck off. That is pretentious. Cite. Thank you. It was for an RP thing I did. This is just like my little post stream. I'm just waiting for Zeke to get done so we can order some food. Fair trade. Yeah, I pretty much went to the mall to go to the movie theater or if I just needed something like immediately that I couldn't wait for. Dude, their arcades sucked anyways. Like my malls did anyways. They basically turned into like, what are those stupid little shops in the mall where you like get in like a fucking like spaceship and it's like a weird 4D experience or something? I don't fucking know. You know, Uki, I actually stopped shopping at them because when the Black Lives Matters riots first broke out after that cop murdered that black man, um, Lush was was in the streets. Lush employees were in the streets giving care packages to the cops. And it kind of turned me off of them hard. Also, it's really fun looking for black owned businesses to buy products from. Craft stores are my crack. That is, craft stores are like, craft stores. That's it. Yep. <laughs> Too good to pass up. Too good to pass up. Give me my juice. Man, I sure wish I could get more juice. Boo. I really enjoyed Among Us. Yeah, I thought it was really fun. Did you guys enjoy watching it? Is that cool? Yarn in fabric shops. Fabric shops, especially for me, I'm a quilter. And so I'm that person that's like, I've never seen that print before. I'll never get that print again. I'll never see it again. You'll never see it in another store again. Oh my God, it's on sale. It's like 10% off. I better buy it. Quilting shops. Kryptonite. Uh, I only have one juice. Sorry, bro. Oh, the Prince and Cerberus exchange a look. Be good, boy. I like yarn too, but I don't use it fast enough to become obsessed with it like I do material. If I don't pet your other heads, don't bite my arm off. Deal? Nope. <laughs> I've never made a pair of socks. Yep. I always have really grand plans for my craft Maybe projects, and I always end up making like the time. same shit like hats. I haven't knitted in a while, though. I haven't knitted since I moved here, actually. Man, I wish I had more use. It's so hard to get to know people without the use. You've had a lot of use. You have a worried look about you, lad. Spare me your thoughts. Dude, Brad playing as Blake was fucking funny. When he just like gave himself up so he could complete oh, it's just, quests. I met the goddess Demeter out there. The blessings that she offered, they just drain the heat and light from everything. Kaimo, you want to see some crack? Fruits and grains and vegetables and such. Not that I'm you want to see some uh, crafty crack? Um, let's cheers. I just bought a leather TN cover for my pagan journal. Ooh, nice. I like leather journals, but I hate every type of insert I've ever bought for them. Like, they always have the thinnest, shittiest paper. Like, I have a really, really nice leather, uh, where are my scissors? Leather, you know, like, journal cover, whatever, that you would put a couple journals in. But I can't find any journals that have thick enough paper for me to, like, draw on them with markers. It all soaks through. Candle! I have a candle. In me. All right, cheers, homies. Um, Reese, I can honestly say that has moved with me from Seattle to Baltimore and now to Colorado. That's that bag holds up. She a tough hoe. <coughs> no, I usually look for the weight of the paper because it's the it's because it soaks through that drives me nuts. They're good bags. I like it because I can carry it around the house. Like I'm. I'm the type of person that like I'll art in one area for a while 
but then I'll get bored with the environment. And I'll be like, oh, I'm going to go lay in bed and art for a while. And it's just so easy because I can carry, that's literally all my markers right there. What do you draw? I draw all sorts of things. I'm kind of like a creative, abstracty kind of artist. My specialty when it comes to traditional is watercolors. So I kind of take that into more modes of my art, I think. This is what I've been doing with my markers. So I've been drawing. I actually put this in arting if you want to see a better picture of this. But I've been making infographics for every tarantula species I own. And then I'm illustrating them. And that is my... It looks so terrible on camera. Seriously, go to my arting Discord. It looks so much better. But this is the uh, Rachypelma Classy. My namesake. Oh. There's a large part of me that wants me to change my name to Classy Katie. But... K-L-A-A-S-I, but it was some guy's name. That's why it's named the Classy, which is kind of boring. And initial here. And initial here, acknowledging that you will shed your pants. Perfect. Have fun. Thank you so much. Thank you for that gifted sub, Brandy Buck. Use a bow with it, baby. Demeter, she has the power to give life or take it. Yes, she does. It seems she's more interested in the latter, though. She's the eldest on Olympus, and your father seems to harbor a particular dislike for her. I don't know why. Be careful. I feel like if I was a... I mean, I'm kind of pagan. I My religion is nature. That's what I tell everybody. My religion is nature. And they're like, what do you mean? I'm like, I don't believe in God, but I believe in nature. Childbirth. Look at it. It's fucking wild. Seeds turning into trees. All the genetic material in the world in this tiny little fragment of nothing that you could step on and crush on a sidewalk. It's fascinating. So I think I'd be like a hedge witch or something. Also, all the spiders. I now own 12 tarantulas. <sighs> I'm a little creepy. I don't know if that's a hedge witch, but I think so. I will. Pagans are the most wonderful people. We have lots of pagans in the community because A, we don't judge people for their religious beliefs at all, period, end of story, regardless of what they are. But B, pagans have a good sense of humor, dude. They fucking funny. They're not as uptight as the rest of the world. Whoa! Again, Fuck off. I know how much you value resting here, and yet I have no better means to bar the entry to our realm than you. A chill swamp witch? Ooh, I like that, maybe. But I don't want to be in humidity like a swamp. Can I be like in a cold, wet swamp? I work with the ocean, but it sucks because tur tourists took over my local beach. You know, I grew up around water, but it's always made me feel unsteady. It's kind of weird. I, figured out by now that guilting I love the beach, and I love work. swimming, and I love no going in the ocean, but I've never felt like Cerberus secure like path. I do when I go like through a forest or something. Like walking through a fucking impressive, beautiful, that, looks, that little ghost on the left looks like a dick right below me. You see the dick ghost just bouncing up and down like a little dildo? But yeah. I can, I mean, I've told people this. What did I say? I said this the other day really eloquently. I was like, when I go out for a walk in the forest, it's like my soul can breathe. Like it opens and it's just like, oh, thank God. There's no people. It's just trees and birds and shit. And I think it's because I grew up in the woods. I didn't grow up in a populated area by any means. What would you know of it? Cerberus cannot be forced to do A bog? Anything. Okay, I'll be a bog he witch. Simply understands. He See in the ocean? Yeah. The dickweed in hypotheticals? No, I'm going to have to look. Water calms me. I've traditionally worked with Egyptian pantheons, but being drawn to Norse lately. Ooh, so I go where they call me. It's usually a reason for it. That's beautiful. I don't know what it is. I like lakes, calm water. Maybe it's just the ocean. No, because I'm afraid of weeds touching my feet. I don't know what it is. Deep water kind of freaks me out. I love to swim, though, but I don't feel comforted by it. It's the forest. And, and that's it is again. like, I remember this kind of an inch, like funny, stupid quip. When I was in college, I started dating this guy and he grew up just north of Seattle. So major city boy, like he had no experience with nature whatsoever. And I grew up eastern Washington, middle of nowhere, population 1200, the sticks. And I remember telling him that I used to go walking in the woods all the time. Like, go, we lived on a beach on a lake. So I would walk down to the beach all the time and walk the miles up and down the beach because it was Lake Roosevelt. So it's a. It's a lake, but it's long as fuck. It's basically a river at nighttime. And he's like, you weren't afraid of like cougars or wolves. I'm like, no, I wasn't taught to fear that shit. Make enough noise and nothing's going to come at me. I was never stalked by anything or attacked by anything. Like, 
usually had a cigarette in one hand, like a Diet Coke in the other, and I was just walking up and down the beach in the moonlight because it was a full moon all the time. My nose itches so bad, I just keep itching it. Um, when it's a full moon, it was beautiful. You could just see everything. It was so lit. You're from Woodenville? Oh, dude. So get this. So I was born in Clearview. Well, I was born in Kirkland. And then my parents lived in Clearview and then Bothell and then Snohomish for a long time. If you're familiar with Snohomish. And then and then we moved to Eastern Washington. And that's where I like spent the last half. I'm the Southwest now. It's very strange for me to not be on a coast, actually. I thought I would be very uneasy about it, but I'm not. Because I don't think I really... Like, the ocean's cool, but it's not as cool as a lot of people think it is. Some people are like, uh, the ocean. And I'm like, eh, it kind of smells like I rotten fish. Really it's okay, though. Else. She must have been a real handful, huh? If you're a loud, dumb human, most animals leave you alone. People don't realize that, though. Like, if you act like a prey animal and you act afraid, a cougar will stalk you. If you act like another predator that you don't give a fuck and you're making noise and just clomping around, they're more they're far more afraid of me. The only reason they would ever come at me is if they were starving or if I came between them and their child. My youngest sister takes a lot of pleasure. Bothell and Marysville, yep. I have family all over. Mostly in Snohomish, family. like but that's as far Snohomish family, Monroe area. Dude, noose. Oh my god. So we lived on this Lake Roosevelt. It's huge. It's like it's an offshoot of the Columbia, so it's a giant river. And people go fishing on it all the time. Well, sometimes you would lose a fish on your line, and then the fish dies or something and washes up on the beach. So there'd be more often than not, when you go down to the beach, some giant dead rotting fish covered in flies. And it was gross. And one time I remember I came outside and my dog Tanner, I had this huge golden lab. He had like a little bit of golden retriever in him, but mostly yellow lab, but he was enormous. He was the size of Link. He was so big and thick, his tail could bruise your leg just from wagging. He was such a happy dog. And I went outside and I was like, hey, Tanner, how are you? And I started scrubbing the sides of his body and I picked my hands up and I was like, what the fuck? He had gone down and like viciously rolled in one of those rotten fish on the beach and I just fucking, like, absorbed all of it into my hands. I don't remember how I got it off, but it was so gross. I mean, not just, I'm starting to smell it. I got to stop thinking about it. I should get learn a thing or two from so you, My imagination is too amazing. It was little fucking decency, disgusting. Perhaps. The smell, like, rotted, rotted walleye. Hey. <laughs> but to Tanner, it was fucking, like, perfume, you know? He was like, Mom, look what I did. <laughs> I learned not to take it personally. They were outdoor dogs. They had like a big barn that was heated they slept in and they would just have free range I of the see. beach and shit. Rolled in a jellyfish? Oh, God. Yeah. Started the cutlery, wiped the counters, replaced the candles, did the dishes, swept the floor, inspected the barrels. Let's see what else. A burger. I've never had delish. Is that good? Spray off a giant booger, basically. Yeah. Yuck. Tanner was just like, like the fish was greasy because it had been sitting in the sun. So Tanner's fur was greasy and full of scales. So I remember we just took shampoo and like dish soap and fucking scrubbed the shit out of him. It was so bad. <coughs> I know this is my character for gone. You like? It's me. Do so. I'm impressed you're able to manage this whole lounge all by yourself. Really? You do it? Mm. What's your secret? I wanted to see if Zeke wanted to get tacos tonight. <laughs> secret? I'm two weeks behind schedule with this place at least. Honestly, I'm going to be so starving by the time we're both done streaming. I won't even give a fuck. Yet, but, oh, I'll be like, just come in my mouth. It's protein. Tell, you? I look like your ex. Your ex had white hair. Cra I'm sorry. Is this uncomfortable? What's behind schedule though? This I can put my hood up. Wear than usual. Well, that's just it. Miss Nix, she tasked me with a pretty big project a while back to make this place worthy of the name, which means there's so much left to do. I need to get Really? I mean, that's a really cool trait to run in your family, but I'm sorry I remind you of your ex. You're not Isn't the first person to say that in my channel, though, which is... Concerning? What's for sale? I'm not 100% sure how I feel about that. What up, Mom? Nix... 
If hypothetically I felt that some injustice had been dealt to someone who deserved a better lot, I have a white streak in the middle of my head. It's been there for many for years. Eternity, it's like a rogue streak. Don't I have some of my father's authority to do something about it? Now that you have regained your access privileges to the administrative chamber, child. Oh. Yes, that is the level of authority you hypothetically possess again. Oh. But how can I possibly find anything in there? The place is wall to wall packed in parchments. I have no idea where to look. Ookie, funny. I think I had my first white hair at like 17. Same. Yep, like right when puberty was like finishing its course. I got you some white hair and I was like, though use discretion if and when you need to exercise this power. What the fuck? Did I skip power, a stage? And make certain that the time is right. Now, are we understood? Her hair that is wings is strange and all the ribbons floating around her like she looks like a bad guy from Yes. Like we um are. Uh, la, 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 Sailor Moon. Do you have a lot of gray hair news? I don't have a ton. I just have a big old streak and then it's like littered oh throughout. Gosh. I'm definitely going to have I have salt and pepper hair for sure. For sure, for sure. Oh my god. No, it's not. Just kidding. Go fuck yourself back. Baratha. Um Come, Stegius. What do we want to do? You don't at 42? Fuck you. What do I want to do? Sword? I kind of want to do sword. I'm kind of favoring sword right now. Is that weird? Maybe. Bonus chance or me. Oh. Nemesis. Zagreus. Oh, it's Zagreus. It's him. Oh, that's cute. Done. Okay, what are these called? Oh. Transform. Oh, okay, I get it. Cute. Cute. I see. Oh, I hate that. Um myself. The form in which the shield of chaos first revealed itself attack and dash strike damage plus three. Chaos. Mm, what do you guys think? Uh, I don't know what I want to do. Um, I mean, I'm definitely going to get some Athena because fuck that. Brandy Buck, I haven't got there. Don't tell me. I have the punchy gloves. I just don't like them. I'm not going to do spear. something if it's good just because it's good. I'm going to do something because it's fun. Change form. You know? It's already level two. Fuck it. I'm doing sword. I'm feeling sword like these days. Here, I got you. I appreciate that. I appreciate you. My aspect of Stygius grows stronger. You're an aspect of Stygius. All right, let's do it. Wait, do you want to talk? You're going to hit me over here or what? No, I am not going to hit you. I just looked at the time. It's almost 8 p.m. here. I think I'm going to call stream. I don't even know how long I've been live. I kind of don't want to know. But I super need to go shower. My fucking hair is so gross. It's probably going to take me a few minutes gonna be quite the shower but to all y'all that hung around for late night in my channel